Let's return to our coverage of the tribunal judgment in Enugu. Bamdele Ajayi joins me now live from the court premises. Bamdele, we understand that the petition filed by the People's Redemption Party has been dismissed, as well as the allegation of alleged NYC certificate forgery against the governor. What more updates do you have for us now? Uh, the tribunal ruled earlier that uh, the candidate of the PRP, Chris Agu, was not able to prove his evidence before the court on the grounds that the governor provided an NYC certificate that was not certified. But the tribunal held that the candidate was not able to substantiate his evidence before the court, and the court should not manufacture information for the candidate. And also, some of the three grounds that the PRP candidate adduced were the first ground was that the second respondent, being Peter Iba, was not qualified to qualify the election on the fact that the third respondent, being the PDP, did not do due diligence to fill them as a candidate there. The second uh, the ground they sought was that the, that the candidate was not duly elected as the candidate with the highest votes cast in the election. And the third ground was that, that the, what's called, the position of the candidate Peter Mbai in that election does not place him because the, out of the 17 local government that he, Chris Agu won 16 out of eight. From the tribunal position was that, that even the PRP was not able to establish one evidence, some of the agents that defeated that. He defeated three, uh, um, PW 123, that none of them was an agent in that election. And even the PW3 said it was a roving agent that he, he was moving from one to 17 local government. That means the position of the electoral acts did say that all agents must remain in their polling unit. The PW2 now saying it's moving from one from local government one to 17. So the candidate now shoot out all his petition from the three grounds that the petitioner was not even have that grounds to challenge the petition. On the, the, we interviewed Chris Agu. He said he was disappointed that the judgment will go in that, on that grounds that is challenging the outcome of the election at the, at the appeal. Bamdele Ajayi live for us in Inago with updates with the Inago Governorship Election Petition Tribunal.